Alrighty, let's talk about three deep stash wide receivers for your dynasty fantasy football team. Uh, Kyle, who's your first wide receiver to deep stash? My first one might get a few groans, but it's Wandell Robinson for the New York. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. This kid is fast. He's a good receiver. He, excuse me. He showed some flashes this year. Unfortunately, he was playing with hot garbage at quarterback. Daniel Jones started the year off not great anyways. Then he got hurt. And then they had other goings on. But – if they, he can get consistent quarterback play from Daniel Jones next year, back healthy, and they can commit to him as a starter, I think he could put up some pretty good numbers. I'm not talking, you know, he's not going to be some top 10 guy, but he could be a low end wide receiver too, flex guy for sure if he got that, those things. And right now, you can get him thrown on the end of a trade for barely anything at all. Yeah. Those are the kinds of lottery tickets I'm searching for right now in the offseason. Yeah, it's not like he has much competition, right? Like, it doesn't take much for one of these wide receivers in New York to stand out amongst the others. And he kind of had that flash at the end of last year. Now, I know he didn't do it with Daniel Jones. Um, and, and Daniel Jones is going to be there again. Uh, but it feels like Wondell Robinson started coming out of his shell there at the end, kind of found a groove, and now we just hope that he can keep developing and uh, have an off season with Daniel Jones and and uh, keep developing that. And and like you said, I mean, you're essentially getting for nearly free, and mm -hmm. so just have him tossed in there and and get your lottery pick. All righty, let's move on to another one. Who you got next? This this is kind of one of my my favorites. I've got him on my dynasty team, Dontavian Wicks from the Packers. He seemed to have instant chemistry with Jordan Love as soon as he started playing. A lot of injuries in that receiving core over the year between Christian Watson, Dobbs, missing some time here and there. What is encouraging to see for next year is – even when Dobbs and Watson and those guys were coming back towards the end of the year and were healthy, Wicks was still a very trusted target for Love, especially when he was taking those shots at the end zone. I mean, he was still putting up touchdowns all the way through the playoffs. You know, I think, I think he had two against Dallas. Like, it's just – you like to see that kind of rapport and that kind of trust with their quarterback. I think he ends up probably taking over Dobbs for the number three spot next year. I, honestly, Do him and Dobbs belong on there, and Christian Watson belongs on the bench, if you ask me, coming out of this foursome of wide receivers. Jaden Reed is probably number one. And then you need to put Wicks and Dobbs on the outsides and bench Watson. I don't think they will. So I think it'll be between Dobbs and Wicks duking it out for that number three spot. But I think Wicks comes out on top. I mean, Watson was on your sell list last week. So mm -hmm. that, that makes sense. Um, uh, and I'll say exactly what I said in, in that video. Um, I don't trust any of these guys on a weekly basis. It seems to be feast or famine for, for each of them. Um, I do agree that, that Wicks – is does produce well he seems to have good rapport um but i would say the same thing about dobbs and reed uh you know i mean i feel like they all kind of have it love just spreads it around so well i'd say that for musgrave you know um so i don't know i feel like it makes that offense efficient in real life but it makes me worried in in fantasy but of all the wide receivers there um, Wix is going to be your cheapest to acquire. And he's probably going to be just as efficient as all the others. So, Bingo. so Bingo. it's about value. 100%. It's the value of it. He's, he's going to be the same, uh, production wise, but you could get him for dirt cheap. Yep. Most people don't even know who he is. Yeah. 
So and again, for someone just at the end of your bench for a break glass in case of injury, bye week emergency, he's perfect. Yep. All righty. Let's move on to your final wide receiver, deep stash. Last but not least, Mr. Michael Wilson for the Arizona Cardinals. There's been a lot of hype around him since he was drafted, going to the Cardinals. Talented guy, but there's been a little bit more hype in recent weeks, I've heard, including my own, one of our own dynasties, where they think he's going to be the number one guy next year for Kyler Murray. And I, that's not going to happen. They're probably going to draft Marvin Harrison Jr. at number four overall. But Marquise Brown is as good as gone. And then you're talking – Trey McBride, Marvin Harrison, and then Michael Wilson's going to be your number two. And after Kyler came back and already looked pretty good after that injury, get the full offseason, come back looking better next year. Kyler in full form, Michael Wilson as the number two, could put up some pretty solid numbers. And right now, not that many people know who he is because he's been behind Rondell Moore, Dortch, and Hollywood all season. Now he's going to get a chance to step into that light. His his value is going to go up very, very high, very, very fast once that is all kind of settling out. So get him now, get him cheap, tossed on the end of another trade, and just sit back and let that value increase. Yeah, I didn't even know who this guy was. If I'm being honest, uh, and then at the end of the season, got that flash. He didn't get to play that much with Kyler Murray. I mean, who did coming back off that injury for Kyler? Um, but at that end of the season, I mean, it was there. It, it looked fantastic. So six targets in week 17, six more in week 18. Um, yeah. Double digit scoring, scoring 15 and a half points in each of those. So pretty good production. Like you said, probably going to be the number two wide receiver on there um, with that uh, connection with Kyler Murray. I like it. I mean, like you said, it's, this is super deep stashes, right? So these are deep stashes. And I, I feel like the value that you'll get him tossed in on a trade is, is nice. Yeah. hundred percent. Might as well. 